Hi, uh, my name's Andrew Kersley. I'm a freelance journalist. Uh, I work for um, a variety of newspapers and magazines, um, The Observer, The Mirror, Private Eye, um, anywhere that will have me at any given time. Um, and I guess I guess my advice for uh, those wanting to get into journalism is it can be really, really um, hard at times. It, it's not the best industry in the world. Um, there can be certain jobs that have really terrible conditions for those working in them, you know, big expectations in terms of output um, and the content you write. Uh, as a freelancer, it can feel like you're, you know, you're, you're certainly not going to get into journalism and, and make loads of money out of it. But what I can say is that if it's something you're passionate about, it can be one of the best jobs in the world, um, being able to write about this stuff and being able to make a tangible difference to people's lives, even uh, with what you feel might be smaller stories or not front page news, you are making a difference, you know, to people who feel they've not been listened to uh, by a system, by a government, by even a road landlord. And, and you can be the difference between uh, them getting any form of even a meagre sense of justice and I'm getting nothing. So what you can do as a journalist to achieve that, if, if, if that sounds appealing to you, uh, first off is accept that it may seem like everyone has got way more stuff sorted out than you, that they've got way more uh, success or, or, or inroads, but the reality is that um, everyone, there is always some failure involved. The amount of failures you will have at any point, you know, will fill up a book for pretty much every journalist you can speak to. So the main thing is having the confidence to find stories. What are you passionate about? What issues are there that you want to know more about? Reaching out to people who work in those areas and asking them what's happening, what cases they've seen. Get your ear to the ground and find out what's going on. And if you're doing that as a freelancer, just ask, just say to people, you know, I, I am working, I'm a freelancer. I, I want to hear, you know, what's the problems in the housing sector? I'd like to speak to people about that. You know, even if you feel like you have no right to ask the questions, you'd be amazed how often people are prepared to speak to you. Um, so I'd say have the confidence to reach out and find out about issues wherever you can, find what you're confident about, find what stories you can in those areas, and don't um, hesitate to start pitching randomly at whatever random emails you can find at whatever publications you're most passionate about. Starting pitching as early as you can is really helpful, and there's no set way into journalism. Don't ever feel like if you're not the person on an MA or you're not the person on a training course you don't have a right to be there because you do if anything you have as much right and you are probably a voice that isn't being listened to enough in the media already so there's no set route in it can make it convoluted hard it can make it seem scary at times but what that does mean for those um who are looking at the outside at a lot of these courses and wondering if they need to be on them the reality is they are valuable they can be helpful if that's what you want to do or if that's what you have the luxury of being able to do but if you don't you can just as easily get involved in, in journalism in so many different ways, um, through so many different routes. And many of the best journalists I know haven't come from the traditional factory line of, of training and courses. Um, and there are so many different ways to get involved with that. Um, yeah, and if anyone you know wants practical tips, wants to know what's going on, I can honestly say, just ask. If you want to ask me, I find me, that's fine. Um, I, but any journalist you like, anyone who you admire, you'd be amazed how receptive they are um, to helping others get into this industry.